Yo, what's up guys, Chris Mir. Today I'm going over the Ender Storage mod and what it adds to the game and what it can do for you. So there's the Ender Chest, the Ender Tank, and the Ender Pouch. Now there's a few things you're going to need. For the Ender Chest, you're going to need four Blaze Rod, two Obsidian, one Wool, one Chest, and one Ender Pearl. For the Ender Tank, you're going to need the same exact things, but you're going to switch out the chest for a Cauldron. For the Ender Pouch, you're going to use four Blaze Powder, three Leather, one ender pearl and one wool and that will give you the ender pouch so the cool thing about this is these tabs on top here what you can do with these is you can color code them using dye and what you do is you just go over you put your mouse over it and you right click on whichever one that you would like to dye so what these do is it links up chest using the color code so if i have a chest with blue white blue if i go ahead and put um, an item in here so if i go ahead and just put two logistic or er, fluid ducts in there and I have a chest over here. Notice that white, 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 nothing in there because nothing's linked to that. If I do blue, white, blue, I open up to have two fluid ducts inside. Now this is really handy if you're doing it like if you have a mine somewhere and you want to bring items back to let's say a like a factory area. Instead of transporting them using pipes, you can use ender chests. Extremely easy to use, color code them, and you have multiple chests that you can use to bring items back. Now concerning the ender pouch. The ender pouch is pretty much like a backpack, as you can see right here. If you see in my hand though, um, or on the hotbar, there's three white dots, and that's the color code. So right now it's white, white, white. To link a ender pouch to an ender chest, what I do is I just come up to it with the ender pouch in hand, I left shift, and then I right click on the ender chest, and that will link the chest to the pouch. So now I should be able to access my fluid ducts from my pouch. If I just come like over here, awesome. Works perfectly. So the ender tank works in the same concept as the ender chest. You can link it using the uh, tabs on the top, blue, white, blue, all that good stuff. I'm going to actually take you guys to the nether to show you guys um, something real quick. So if I go to the nether, the great thing about this mod is that it works cross dimension. So in the nether it will work if you're using link books, it will work there. Ooh, a bit of lava. So coming into here, if I can get in, there we go. I have a pump just sucking uh, lava out from the nether and throwing it into here. So here I have a tank set up blue, white, blue. And what I can then do is if I go back to the overworld, what that will do is if I put down another tank, so if I actually just do it here, and I have one blue, white, blue. What this will do now, it will actually... Ooh, didn't, quite do it there blue white blue it would actually fill with lava same with the chest as you recall the chest up there was blue white blue two fluid ducts down here in my chest blue white blue so if I go back up top now if I then just put down a um, another tank or a chest or whatever it will work cross dimension and now I'm going to show you guys how to get the fluid actually out of the tank because there's just a few settings so I go ahead and I just get rid of that right there. Already this tank set up as blue, white, blue using my dye. And what you want is it's default set on blue on top. Now this little dial here, you just right click to turn it. And what you're going to do is you want to right click it so that the red is on top and that's your output mode. And then you just put whatever you're using to take the uh, fluid out of the tank and into um, whatever you're using. I'm using right now fluid ducts. You can use whatever you your preferred method is. So I go ahead and do that. It's going to take that and it's going to take the lava into whatever uh, device that you're using. If you're using it to make energy using thermal generators or something like that, um, that will do that. Now you can do any liquid with this. So it can be lava, water, oil, uh, whatever suits your need for whatever um, you're using. So the ender tank is extremely handy in that way. So overall, it's a pretty simple mod to use. It's pretty fun. I definitely check it out and put it into use around your base or around your mod pack, um, survival, let's play, whatever you're doing. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm Grissom from Affinity Collective. Peace, guys.